Hi, my name is Rollo Winlock and I'm CEO and co-founder of Webster. My mission and Webster's mission is pretty much the same thing. Founding a, a tech company to work in video. The mission of the company is to really bring massive amounts of video into all of the world's brands. Uh, online, everyone is trying to consume video at a really high rate. Uh, and the only thing that, that's slowing them down is the ability to produce it, a lot of it, and get it in front of the right people at high speed, iterate, and then continue. So that's what we're trying to do. When we think about the post-advertising era, really what that's saying is that you're now not doing a spray and display type of video. Uh, what you're trying to do is define an audience, capture that exact audience, much like you can on social now because you can target ages, demographics, interests, and create episodical, long, short-form content for that audience explicitly and, and really grow that audience over time so that they bring in more and more of the right type of people to buy your products. The way companies can use videos uh, without losing sight of their goals, which is usually revenue, retention, expansion, all those other good numbers, is that you, you have to tie a little bit of your actions to outputs. For example, if you have a certain number of leads you need to capture within a month uh, for your pipeline build for sales, then there needs to be a certain level of attribution to the content that you're producing. Much like if you have a video that's being watched averagely 10,000 times and there's a sign up to a demo form or something else, you're able to then tie that together and go, well, we got 100 sign ups to the demo form from the video that got 10,000 views, all up that cost us $10,000. And so then you can start to get um, your attribution through from cost to acquire the customer through to a sale. But the more interesting piece about audience building is that you don't do direct attribution, you do attention and you do uh, engagement as those two numbers together. So for example, if you have a thousand people who watch a video and they do a hundred actions, which is liking, disliking, making comments and sharing, you know that the engagement is high enough that those people love what you're doing, they want to watch the next thing and they want to bring more people, which is the long game. You should be playing the long game. So over the next one or two years, let's think more two years here, is that brands are going to have to overcome some pretty interesting challenges about how they view mass video. And I don't mean mass audiences, I mean mass amounts of video. Thinking about putting out a video, say, every day on Instagram, uh, an original piece of content, not reposting, not repurposing from YouTube, but original content for every, every place that your audience hangs out. So what you're really going to have to get on top of in the next 24 months is how do we ramp up production internally and working with agencies and freelancers and how do we get a publishing schedule which is punishing but allows for you to really move through that publish, analyze, republish, analyze, republish, analyze and get your audience building over time. So really in the next 24 months if you're not totally focused on audience building your competitor is and you died. What I'm most looking forward to about uh, attending AdTech in Auckland is meeting all these marketers who are just starting to get a spidey sense that video is going to be huge and they're just not entirely sure what to do and I really just want to have those conversations and un unlock the potential, unlock the excitement of what can happen. There's just so many endless things you can do with video, especially on all these different channels where you have different parts of the market, um, that that's the excitement is what are we going to do next? Uh, and I'm there to help.